Good afternoon, and thank you again for being here. This is an exciting moment for us. Uh, I'm extraordinarily proud of the two men that you're about to meet, and Roger Morton, who is our Director of Transportation Services, and Robert Yu, who uh, runs the Oahu Transit, uh, our bus system, uh, who also has responsibility for the handy vans. But I don't think there are two better men in the state that could talk about transportation services. So in that regard, I'm going to step aside, have Roger kick it off. I'm certainly here to answer any questions. Um, because there's been a lot of questions lately about our handy van service, but I think today is a, uh, a lot of good information to come your way. So with that, Roger. Well, aloha, and thanks everybody for coming to uh, to our to see our new van. Uh, this van is, uh, we recently received it. We look forward to getting it on the road as soon as we get the inspections done with it. But more importantly, uh, we've reached an agreement with our supplier, which is Solder Home Sales and Leasing, to purchase 48 of these vans. And they've done a lot in, in trying to work their magic so that they can get these vans to Honolulu as quickly as possible. Uh, we're looking to start our deliveries of these vans uh, in August. Now, I need to tell you that the small bus industry has, you know, is, is affected by the supply chain issue the same as everybody else. And normal deliveries now are about a year and a half out. So the fact that we're going to get our vans uh, starting in about nine, eight months from now uh, is, is really remarkable. Uh, additionally to that, we are at DTS, we are preparing uh, additional procurement. We plan to buy some smaller vehicles and we ha hope, to, hope to have that procurement uh, completed by the end of our fiscal year here so that we can get uh, small vehicles that are a little smaller than that. In addition to that, we are exploring the possibility of actually using some SUV-type vehicles for uh, not for uh, for not for ambulatory people. Uh, we have, you know, 75% of our ridership is actually ambulatory uh, and can be accommodated in uh, in a non-vehicle like that. Finally, we're also uh, looking to uh, uh, to increase OTS is is looking to uh, have a new contract to increase our use of, of uh, supplemental providers. We've had a long relationship with various supplemental providers such as the CAB, EcoCab, uh, and other uh, companies like that. I think we're using VIP right now. Uh, and we're gonna have another procurement to just to see how much uh, of our business makes sense from, uh, from, from that. Uh, and finally, the city is, is also putting their money where their mouth is. We have agreed to put another uh, $750,000 into improving our reservation software uh, so that our riders will, within about a year or so's time, be able to self-schedule some of their trips. We know that all of our riders won't be able to do that, but we think that if we can, ha if we can get 25, 30% of our riders to actually use computers to schedule their trips, that'll be better for everybody if we can do that. I'd like to, at this point, I'd like to ask Robert Yu uh, to come up. Well, before I do that, I did want to make one more uh, mahalo, and that is, uh, as you guys can imagine, uh, we had to burn a lot of midnight oil to, uh, to get this transaction happening. Uh, the situation was that the, uh, uh, the, the industry has, has uh, gotten smaller, there's, there's fewer vehicles being produced, and prices have been going up all over the country. So we were faced with needing to negotiate a price. We did it quickly. We did it in a business-like way. Uh, and our, our people in our budget department, our, fiscal, uh, our budget and fiscal department, uh, I really want to thank them for their, their help in getting out what, in, in days what we would normally take a month or so to do. And also our own internal staff, uh, Gerald Hayeda and, and uh, Eileen Mark is somewhere. Uh, they spent a lot of nights making sure that this transaction could occur so that we could get these vans ordered before January 1st of this year. Uh, and as a result of that, now we're here. We have the first van here, uh, which is a pilot van. Again, we're looking forward to getting it on the street as soon as we do it. It's got a lot, a lot of uh, new features. It's a little smaller. It's got a, it's got a, a, a better ride quality on it. Uh, and it's got a few other features as well. But at this point, I'd like my colleague, Robert Yu, to come up and just say a few words on behalf of OTS. Okay, thanks, Director Morton. Um, I just want to um, really um, say, give thanks to the mayor, the managing director's office, the Department of Transportation Services, and the city purchasing 
for their um, effort in negotiating um, a new contract to buy vans for um, Honolulu. We have 209 handy vans in our fleet and this 45 vans will be replacement on some of the older vans and we look forward to having new vans in our fleet and we think that because of that um, you know we would be able to um, provide more reliable service to our customers so um, thank you very much thank you Robert thank you Roger there's another key player in all of this that really helped facilitate this transaction and help expedite matters, and that's Eric Sutterholm. I'd like to have Eric come up um, and talk a little bit about your perspective. Thank, Thank you, Eric. Thank, Thank you. you for everything. Thanks, you guys. My, now my name is Eric Soderholm, Vice President of Soderholm Sales. We're a small family, local company. My kids are here, Gus and Gabby. Um, a lot of people worked on this. Roger, uh, John Nauchi, uh, Gerald, Eileen, Mark, um, and, uh, you know, we, we went into it uh, with the best uh, intentions possible, and we came out a winner. So we're going to start, uh, they're going to start building these new buses in May, and we should have them all delivered uh, by toward the end of the year. Um, we have a long relationship with the city, a long relationship with, um, with Handyvan. I started out as a city and county firefighter, 75 to... 78 that was probably before some of you guys were born so anyway uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to work with uh, Rick and Roger and um, we're just um, pretty happy so aloha right. I guess I've turned into a quasi MC here so <laughs> I'm going to turn it over for any questions you have of me but certainly of Roger Robert or, or Eric but I'm going to say it again um, our ability to provide transportation in all forms uh, and, and right down to how we manage the streets is a very important part of this role. And so um, we have been plagued over the last several months. It's been really bothersome with the difficulty in getting parts and vehicles and the impact that that's had on our disabled community. I've been contacted by many of them, or for that matter, the lack of new vans. And, and so this is really, for, for us, really a joyous experience. It's not just the introduction of a new van. It's about the service we're providing to the people out there who, who so desperately rely on our ability to do this for them. And that's what's so gratifying about this.